G'day guys, welcome to my RX Wireless V2 video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about NRL Round 13's recap preview for 2021, guys. Let's get started. So starting off with this first match of this game, we see the Dragons going up against the Broncos. Now in that game, it's absolutely really good game of football and the Broncos aren't doing too well unfortunately though I haven't got the piece of paper so if you guys um, if you're guys saying that um, where's the piece of paper and stuff like that I didn't bring it with me unfortunately guys uh, I do apologize about that usually I bring my paper out and tell you guys what the tries were and the points are so I'm just going to say it from the top of my mind anyway. So, in that game was pretty much a really good matchup. 52 points to 24 in that game. And my highlight of that match was Matt Dufty. He was an absolute speed freak. Cannot believe he scored that try in um, the halftime minute of that game in that first half. Absolutely killer player. He's a really good finisher of the game and of his team anyway. But in that match though, sees the Broncos aren't really doing really well at the moment. Sees um, obviously Albert Kelly and um, David Meep obviously played last week in that game. Uh, really potential, I reckon David Meep played a really good game. Um, but obviously sees the Albert Kelly, um, usually he plays really well. But unfortunately though, since um, he doesn't really play that much football, um, but since he went to the Broncos and really stepped up now, I reckon he will um, in the upcoming season, obviously for this year and for next year anyway. But for the Dragons, so, uh, since they are losing players due to origin, it was pretty much a difficult game. Um, but I didn't think that uh, the Dragons were going to win against this uh, Broncos side. But since Matt Dufty played a really good match, I just had to think that um, in that game, really, for him, he stand out absolutely really well in that Met game. So, yeah, credit to um, the Dragons for making a really good win against this Broncos side. The next game of that match, we see the West Tigers going up against the Panthers now. I know for a fact that uh, the Panthers, I feel so sorry for you guys. This is your first loss of um, 20 matches that you've been winning so far, but you're still up in the leaderboard on that first place on the ladder. So still um, unlucky for the finish, but credit to you guys. You are a good team. I know Matt Byrne didn't do really well, unfortunately, um, but the West Tigers were just absolutely gobsmacking the um, Panthers in that game. But I hate to think, though, that the West Tigers were absolutely really rude after the game that saying like um, Cleary is a wanker and stuff like that you don't do that at all just because it's your first loss and this like saga or something like that like happens because oh apparently um, it comes to an end of, of the winning streak in that it doesn't mean that you guys West Tigers fans have the right to say, oh, Cleary is a wanker and stuff like that. Like, what has he done to use? Like, <laughs> just don't do that. It's like literally a strange thing to do just because, oh, um, it's your first loss. It doesn't mean that, like, it's not gonna get you anywhere. It's not gonna get anyone anywhere if someone just says Cleary is a wanker or Harry's a wanker or something like that. It doesn't mean anything, so. I would say, for all you West Tigers fans out there that said it last week, do not say it again because it's absolutely really stupid and I just had to think that it was really much like ridiculous for you guys that were really going against Ivan Cleary because that's disgusting and that's really not on at all. But anyway guys, West Tigers played really well in that game. Uh, the players were absolutely outstanding. I think Dane Laurie really deserves a pat on the back because he was absolutely outstanding. Uh, so it was James Roberts um, in that game. But obviously, Philly Army kick out got ambushed by James Roberts, and that's how um, the style of the fight happened. Um, but yeah, I just have to think this game was really ambushed by the Panthers. But yeah, 26 points to 6 was the scoreline of that game. Um, but obviously... Um, when Jerome Luai, Nathan Cleary, 
um, and Brian Toto and the rest of them come back, um, it's going to be a whole another level, I reckon, uh, for the Panthers. But since that, um, I reckon the Panthers will drop downhill and struggle for any other games anyway. But yeah, well done from the West Tigers for making a really good um, win against this uh, Panthers side anyway. The next game of that match, we see the Storm going up against the Titans now. In that game, the Titans <sighs> going up against the Storm side without Josh Adokar, without Felice Kafusi. Um, things were really going to be hard for this side because obviously with Nico Hines still in that fullback side, um, playing obviously for the fullback in that game, um, he, uh, he obviously played an all right match. Um, but sees Dean Lemiria. No, D Dean Aramia or something like that. Um, can't really pronounce his name right. I do apologize if I can't pronounce that right. Um, but in that game, obviously, the Storm were really just on that form of getting past the line every single time because I hate to think that if the Storm were going to be a really good team but without those good quality players out there, um, I just didn't think that the Storm were going to get it. But they obviously did, only by just. And I didn't think that they were going to win by a big margin against this Titans side. But Titans, though, they played all right. And they were really, in the second half, they were absolutely really good um, for their attack, their defense, and stuff like that. But obviously, um, in the final minute, they almost, almost got over the line. And if they would have gotten that final try of the last minute of the second half of that game, they would have won that, I reckon. They would have won that. But unfortunately, they didn't. So, yeah. It was really much a tight game in that match anyway. But I just have to say, like, really good matchup by the Storm. And I didn't think in that game was going to be a really tight game anyway. But, yeah, 20 point, twenty. Points to 14 in that match was absolutely really tight of that game in a way. And last but certainly not least, we see the Knights going up against the Eels now. <laughs> okay, in this game, the Knights were playing absolutely shocking in that game. The first half and second half, they were really gobsmacked in that game. And I just didn't think in this game, I didn't think in this match that um, the Knights were really going to be a really tight team but I know that they have lost um, Mitchell Pearce um, who was the other guy um, I didn't think who no I can't remember his name but I know who it is um, but yeah they lost um, they, they obviously are losing a lot of players so um, I do feel so sorry for the Newcastle Knights. They are a really good team. Um, but unfortunately, though, they got thrashed by the Parramatta Eels. Obviously, because since last week, I think they played against Manly. They were just need to win, and they obviously did. 40 points to 4 in that game. I wasn't expecting this game going to be a big scoreline in that match. But the Parramatta Eels were absolutely playing a very good game of football and smashing the Newcastle Knights in that game was absolutely astonishing by this team and this club. Brad Arthur would have been happy about this team because obviously Hayes Dunster came um, on for uh, Blake Ferguson that was dropped um, obviously in the number five jersey. He played um, astonishing really well. Um, but then I reckon my player of the game in that match was obviously went to uh, Mitchell Moses. I know that he didn't kick a lot of goals, but he absolutely played a really good game of football in that match. But in that game, the Paramount Eels did really well against the Newcastle Knights. 40 points to 4 for that score. Thanks for watching my video guys, stay tuned for more, we'll be doing a couple of videos coming to you guys soon, also I'll be doing more videos coming to you guys soon, so stay tuned for more, plus leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video, till then take care guys, stay safe and have a good one, plus let's get up to 300 subscribers, we're sitting on 213 anyway, so let's get up to that and I'll see you guys next time, take care.